Ian Mon, and I'm here with CJ, and we are here to talk a little bit about the pressure, a little bit more in depth about uh, the boat, uh, why we created this boat, and so some of the characteristics both of the hull performance as well as uh, the deck and all the outfit. Developing this boat, and, and particularly for uh, you know offshore fishing or, or uh, just big water fishing, there's a lot of gear. feature that we've gone with on the threshers is a good design to uh, a storage well inside. And as you open up these toggle handles, very secure, uh, will give you access to, let me tilt that over to you a little bit, it'll give you access to a storage well. We also have scuppers in that so that you can plug those up if you want this to stay a, a drier compartment. We also provide an area for access if you need to access the bow of the boat. One of the key things that we were looking for when we were designing this boat was something that would allow you, as you're paddling the boat, you can slide up uh, off the seat onto the center console and be able to access gear here in the boat without having to reach over the top and dig down deep into it. On the hood we did indentations for rod tips, so during rigging or, or gaffing a fish or securing gear, you have somewhere to lay your rod, there's also uh, adjacent spots on the, on the back of the boat. Also on this bow hood, a whole different paddle part. You've seen on tarpons and rides, uh, much bigger, uh, wider, a lot easier to use. Just... Uh, the next feature that we've developed is, is uh, the new uh, FlexPod OS. Uh, it's been an evolution for uh, GPS, fish finders, but we did it very secure. I can lift up the whole boat with it, so it's not going anywhere. So we've designed that as well for, for various types of uh, fish finders. This particular unit, uh, the transducer on the bottom, we've got a, a transducer scupper down below, fits inside there just like that, lock the thing down, you're ready to go. The size of this large scupper that we did for this transducer will allow the large HDI tent transducers from Moran's to work, it also works well for the larger Ray Moran style units, the larger honey one. Really any manufacturer's transducer won't be too big for this at the moment. With the new evolution of fish fire technology, the larger transducer, more powerful units, it's really important that we they would have seven all these Next on the list as we move down the boat is talking about the center console hatch. And again, we're, we're looking at this boat being used out in some very rough, severe conditions. We wanted to have a boat that was going to be as watertight as possible. So designing this lid, uh, again, we're using the same type of buckles, but they're, they're very secure on there. But uh, we've got a gasket inside here, as well as we spent a lot of time developing ceiling surface that was on here so that when this thing closed we had good contact all the way around. Some of the features on this, uh, we've, we've got bungee configuration here, if you want to be able to stow things underneath of it. We've got an 18 inch uh, ruler on there as well. It drains out. We also have attached here uh, an 8 inch slide tracks which will handle a multitude of accessories that you may want to, to add to it. In designing this hatch, the, the size of it was really rods and other accessories into the, into the boat for surf launch and landing and also just to have extra gear. When we open the hatch, there's an optional, optional mesh pocket right here to be able to put a water bottle, pliers, anything you need to keep close to the hand but you don't want out on your deck. So the size of the hatch was large enough to we're able to get eight foot plus rods of, of fairly heavy construction in here. In this hatch we also designed a couple of drop-in trays to be optional accessories. Uh, this one is a, a dual depth here so that you can put tackle trays for Plano inside this have room for reels and uh, on your rods if you snow these, otherwise you'd be hitting this tray on the bottom. There's also a shallower tray that's going to just, just be tackle have plenty of room for reels underneath it. Now these Plano tackle boxes that are inside that will also fit up underneath the base three seat. There's a nice little slot there to keep tackle close at hand. On this boat we need a side handle to be able to, obviously to help load the boat and move around, but also to be able to have that grip in the surf. As opposed to a standard webbing handle that was bolted on the side or doing that larger uh, ejection hold handle would be on the bow and stern that would be in the way of your paddling, in the way of fishing and entering the boat. We went with this under grip handle, uh, very secure. It's, it's going to be a molded handle, obviously, on the on the production. 
production boat, but it's, it's a really nice way to be able to grab that boat and not have the instructions on the side. Seating for this boat, uh, because of the conditions of this boat, is going to be used in. We wanted to have the center of gravity as low as possible. So we uh, went into the phase three seating, very comfortable, multi-adjustment to it uh, with the seat back, uh, with your leg lifter and then to be able to lower the seat down as well. So lots of things that you can do, multiple adjustment points for this. Some of the other things just around that, again, if you're out in the surf, uh, an option is to be able to put thigh braces on it, which will be able to have better control while you're in the surf. And then as we move back behind it, um, we've got a security bar here. We wanted to have enough room in the back behind that to be able to have multiple uh, options with, with rods, flush mount rods, and, and, and various uh, accessories. We also have an optional hatch right here to be able to access to do installation here as well as storage. Come spring is what will be available um, as an accessory for the bait tank. We'll have a nice a tank that's all going to be self included. We'll have a pickup and the drain will go through the scuppers of the boat. This tank also will be uh, able to configure to fit the tarpons and the rides. It's going to run on a, a battery compartment here. You'll have the orbit hatch on top. Uh, really system it straps in through the security bars uh, a lot of really good features in this tank so uh, in the stern of the boat we've got this huge storage well tank well uh, again something that you can hold your live well in um, we've got slide tracks on the sides we've got cargo straps here as well so that uh, depending upon the gear that you have a lot of ways to secure it down along with the bungee the boat is designed to have a big payload hold a lot of gear lot of room uh, back here in the back of the boat to be able to do that and keep the boat trim as well. New for wilderness system this year uh, is a, a new uh, foot brace and rudder system in the boat. Uh, uh, the design has changed slightly, a little bit more uh, efficient uh, design for that. Uh, we've also made it so that you've got uh, three different adjustment points in here. We'll have a quick release that you'll be able to uh, take this part off, change it into the different holes in here so that you can fine tune the amount of uh, tension that you want to have on your rudder. And as we move up to the front of the boat again, talk a little bit about the new foot brace system. So we've gone to one now that's a gas pedal system to where as you push this thing back and forth like this, you can see that that'll adjust the rudder in the back. All right, so that's a more in-depth view of the pressure. Again, we've got that in two sizes. We've got the 15 Yes, and hearing responses that they have and success.